We are the Philippine Eagle Foundation. We started here 37 years ago in Davao City with a group of passionate individuals seeking to save the Philippine Eagle and protect the biodiversity that surrounds it. Our old facility in Barakatan became the haven for the eagles and other wildlife for years. But when the growing insurgency in the area started to disrupt the operation, we transferred the facility for both the safety of our eagles and our people. Termed as the Great Exodus, we left the old facility in Barakatan and started to develop a patch of land here in Malagos in 1988. Slowly but surely, the foundation built a breeding and rehabilitation facility for Philippine eagles, which also became a site for research, education, and volunteering. The years of dedication and effort invested into this work eventually paid off in 1992, with the birth of Pag-asa and Pagkakaisa, which took the world by storm and eventually led the subsequent outpouring of public support and sympathy that helped revitalize the effort to save the species. Over the years, the Philippine Eagle Foundation reached significant milestones. The community-based conservation program in Salaysay in 1996, the declaration of Mati Eagle Sanctuary in 2005 showcased PEF's commitment to local conservation efforts. The Open Classroom Project was also established and became one of the Foundation's education campaigns to help people understand the mission better through nature contact and experience-based education at the PEC. The Philippine Eagle Foundation marked a technological leap with the first Philippine Eagle in Mindanao equipped with a radio transmitter in 2008, and the first instrumented Philippine Eagle in the Northern Sierra Madre in 2011. The Forest Guard Program in 2011 and the start of the Culture-Based Conservation Initiative in 2012 emphasized the importance of our partner communities in furthering the conservation of the Philippine Eagles. Notably, the hatching of a South Philippine hawk eagle, which was the first in the world in 2012, and the hatching of Mabuhay in 2013, a second-generation product of our cooperative artificial insemination, mark a significant step in the Foundation's breeding efforts. The years that followed were filled with conservation triumphs. From the establishment of indigenous community conserved areas in Mount Manlaku, Mount Tagub Kampalili, and Mount Mauson in 2016, to the Aboitis and Rafi Awards in 2018. It was also in 2018 when The Bird of Prey, the first full-length documentary about Philippine Eagle, was released in theaters. In 2019, the historic loan program of Philippine Eagle Geothermica and Sambising also strengthened the Foundation's relationship with Singapore. After the lockdown in March 2020, the Foundation was able to rescue 10 Philippine Eagles, which is a historic high compared to the previous 1-2 to two Eagles per year. Despite the Foundation's success in conservation, certain struggles were also present during these times. However, the Foundation was able to adapt to challenges of the pandemic by offering digital learning experiences such as virtual tours and other education campaigns. Support from online crowdfunding initiatives backed by individual donors and from corporate sponsors also became the Foundation's lifeline during the pandemic. Recent years saw groundbreaking achievements. The Ali Davao Carbon Forest was recognized at the ASEAN Green Initiatives for being one of the best ecosystem restoration initiatives in Southeast Asia. And the first installation of power lines in Mount Sinaka were all in 2023, to name a few. The journey of the Philippine Eagle Foundation is a testament to 37 years of unwavering dedication, innovation, and collaboration. From humble beginnings to global recognition, the Foundation has continued to become at the forefront of Philippine Eagle and wildlife conservation.
And this year, you get to be a part of the historic transfer of the breeding eagles to the first ever National Bird Breeding Sanctuary.